<laughs> oh, I was going to be a Luma good, but then I decided to get a Luma naughty. <laughs> Like that, like the fucking random, the creepiest. You, you see, you ever watch Kurt's Cowley Dog? Yeah, yeah. The fucking creepy barber dude. Oh man, I don't, I don't remember. It's been so like, long since I've seen and it. And I was feeling a little naughty. I was like, oh my god. Yeah, that that show, that show was actually good for making like kids uncomfortable. If that's if that's anything worth bragging about. No, absolutely. It's it was a, it was a genuinely creepy show. Like it, it like the characters that they, that the fucking dog had to go up against were like you felt bad for the guy because you're like Jesus Christ. Isn't there one where like that that fucking cat dude like tortures him and it's yeah. like I re recall it being like really uncomfortable to watch. Like it was uh it was not like I mean I, I awful torture, but like he put him in a taffy machine and kept stretching him out like a like one of those fucking uh, medieval torture devices. Yeah. And a lot of people made that kind of allusion to it, but obviously when you're a kid you don't really give a fuck. All you see is, oh god, there's a ch oh well, no, we just got wrecked. You need to line. slow the fuck down, buddy. Ha <laughs> ha no. Well that fucking just happened. Yeah, that enemy gnar is Ain't shit. Oh god. Mm. No. No, Vi. <laughs> Pro I'm... skills. Oh god. Oh god. No, I'm getting dunked on. I'm fuck. Get it, Lissandra! Oh! God, she is single handedly carrying this whole team. This one, this one, this one. He's gonna kill you. Well, they're He's building gonna kill armor, you. I think. No, they're not. They're wow. just. Wow. Never mind. Yeah, she, uh, she, she fucked that one. But she's been doing okay, so I. She's been doing pretty good. I, yeah. I just think she needs to do better. Because I need to get carried. Because I'm... <laughs> yeah, you uh, you should build armor. Yeah, build I'm gonna build, a, build armor. A, so I build at try. least uh, one armor item. I got I got Warden. Right, Warden's gonna look. Oh yeah, do you? Yeah. Go get him. Ooh. Kill him. Oh, that I'm looking at the enemy, Vi. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, you got your, uh, you got your Randys. Alright. You got a tank in me. Gotta take in me. Bomus OP? What? Mo Mo <laughs> Bomus! Bomer! Mobies. Oh, he's talking about Moby. Moby oh, boots. Moby boots. On Talon? Yeah, they're pretty good. No, I think. Moby yeah. dicks. Moby dick. Who sticks? Moby's dick. I mean, on Talon, normally you would want to build the uh, Merc treads, especially against the Lissandra. Is Talon doing uh, good? Talon was not mid. Talon is 13 Talon and 9. Talon was ADC. <laughs> oh. Yup. Who was right. mid then? Yaz? Yeah. Oh, wow. ADC Talon, huh. I mean, I, I could see how late that would be viable. I don't know about early. Ah, uh, did they get it? Ah, uh, yeah, they did, but we're about to get a kill if they... What in the fuck? Don't worry, I got a tower. I got a tower. What in the fuck? I, I, I think... If they don't get any objectives here, we're gonna trade good on this. Probably. Oh, I don't know Anything. about that. Keep going, they're, they're chasing this fucking Lucy Lou. Yasuo is missing. He's pretty far though. He might be backing. He might be. Yeah. Actually, uh, no, I want the. Because that makes a lot more sense. He's probably backing. He'd be stupid if he wasn't. Oh, wow. That's a good trade. <sighs> Goosey Poos uh, killed Narwhal. That's a good trade. I'm going through the jungle. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh uh, yeah, I'm definitely dead. That fucking dead Talon. Fight. I should have just stayed and hit the tower. I could have probably taken it. Maybe. Probably not. I wonder if these baggots are gonna start trying to do Baron. Uh, I don't. I don't think they will. There's enough of them dead where it wouldn't wouldn't be a good idea. Now we're the only one I'm down rather. Oh, is he? Well, yeah, now, no I think the rest of them just came back. Yeah, that's what I was saying. They came back as soon as uh, you died. Alright, so let's see. Do they have a lot of auto-attackers? Uh, yeah, I think they so. do. They, they do. have they have a really decent, like... 
amount of auto attackers. I'm gonna build a motherfucking thorn mail. Thorn mail's not a bad idea. I'm gonna build a fucking thorn mail. I'm gonna build a motherfucking uh, sunfire cape. Soon, a sunfire, sunfire cape. Hey, man, now you need to feel it, and though I'm going to build my swing the full cap. I'm a big faggot. If you did not know. Oh, I still need to fucking build my try. All right, okay, like man. some, so it looks like it's about to get freaky and good. So. Yep, yep. Oh shit. Oh jeez. You need to fucking back right off. That's what you need to do. Oh jeez. Oh god, big gnar. Ah, oh, why did I fucking flash that? I thought I was gonna catch the fucking guy. That's we won right. that. That was a four v four, I think. Yeah, we won that big too. I don't think we had a death. Nope. Oh wait, I Took think Lucian, Lucian died. Mm. I like your booty, but, but I'm not, not gay. gay. Oh shit! Gay. Oh, you little piece of fuck! I'll kill you! Wow! Holy shit! Talon is nuts. Ta yeah, Talon is. Wasn't it you that said Talon was bad? Because Talon is not bad oh. if he gets fed. Oh, I would that. I don't think he's. I don't think he's like LCS good, but he's he's scary if he gets fed. Like you don't you don't want to fuck with that. I said he he played bad because he was an ADC. <laughs> but so oh, I, I I thought there's somebody that I know that absolutely hates Talon. Probably Kyle, because Kyle doesn't like anything. No, Kyle. It, what do you? Uh, Kyle loves Talon. Does he? Yeah. Yeah, I got I've I got never Kyle. Seen him play Talon. I've yeah, never well, cuz Talon, Talon is ever. super circumstantial. That's like Talon would be my main mid if you could use him more. But you have to you have to really kind of especially now that assassin mid is becoming the new meta. But um yeah, he's he's good against like uh like Talon versus Lux is like the most one-sided lane I think I've ever fucking played. Yeah, my nigga, they're starting that shit. Oh, and they're pushing. Mmm. Mmm. No, fuck it. Keep going. Go for Baron. Go for Baron. What's up, baby? Yeah! I'm glad that the only person who could do damage was the fucking Morgan, and she, she's not here. No, she's here. Or not on our... Uh, Lissandra. That's what you meant. Yeah. Yo, man. Fucking kill that and then finish it off. I'm not gonna do enough damage at all. Oh, do you not have jungle items? I do. I just I, I build tanky masteries. Why is Lissandra just gonna? No, no, get the fucking turret. Do you have uh? Do you have smite? Yeah, there I got it. Go. <laughs> yeah, I don't what know why fuck, she fucking Lissandra? left that. Uh, Liz? Are you dumb or something? My nigga. You could have done that ages ago. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, you could have done that Legion level ages ago. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. God mm. fuck, damn it. Your pain is delicious. I'm gonna push the fuck out of top, and they're not gonna stop me. They're gonna stop you? Hmm? They're not gonna. They're gonna try. If they try, they're they're dumb, and they're stupid, and I'll kill them. Oh, you're dumb and stupid and I'll kill oh, you. Are you telling me it'd be really dumb for them to try to force you out of lane? Oh shit! Come on! Come on! You too, bitch! Let's go! Oh shit, I might not win that. <laughs> Come on. Come on, chase me. Oh, you best back off. Told you I'd do it. I told you I'd do it. I told you it'd be dumb. Assy has got a booty, uh, and said, yo, ass dad, I just wanted to donate to a crack-addicted, uh, pussy-crazed, uh, ass-loving homeless person. Wait, that means I should be donated to Phil. Get the anyway, there you go, thank you! Eat your... <laughs> I was gonna say, the fuck you talking about? Eat your shit and finger your vegetables. Yeah, man. Yeah, what he said, the fuck are you talking about? Uh, by the way, I was taking guesses on all the swear words because the donation tracker is dumb and bleeps it. 
So, I'm sorry if that's not exactly verbatim what he said, but it was something. I don't care if he says pussy crazed or not. I think we're all a little pussy crazed. Yeah, that's, that's why I went with pussy. Because it was the safest bet. Alright, let's... Oh, there... shit. Oh, my wow. God. I was kind of worried about that, but now I see the folly of my ways. I'm, I'm going to go B and buy a fucking thorn mail, because I have enough now. You guys, uh, you guys Remember got when it. Remember Lissandra was bad? I do. Lissandra the character, or Lissandra this person? The, the character. Did they buff Lissandra, or did people I just think, start yeah, learning how to play they her? Uh, I think they buffed her range on her Q. That was, like, the biggest problem. And I think they worked on some numbers, and Frozen is playing outside my fucking door. I really don't know why. Phil, just, just let it go. Oh my fucking god. That's what's playing right now, literally that exact song. Is that, like, okay, I've finally heard that song, but that's that's the extent of what I know about Frozen. Yeah, it's... I, I think that song will be its legacy, honestly. Yeah. I think it already is. No, absolutely. That's like the. Only... I know. I know nothing about the fucking plot. I know not. I don't know the characters' names. I just. I just know that song. That's it. Fuck you. Fuck you, you little. Cock I forget sucker. what this fucking songs even everything because I've never seen the movie. But she. It's supposed to be super empowering. I guess. I don't know. Uh. Yeah. It's like she's a. Uh... She's basically saying, fuck it, I'm gonna be myself, even though they're not, because I guess she has, like, freezy superpowers or something, I guess is the premise. Yeah, she's, like, Disney Rogue. She's di no, she's, like, Disney Iceman, but instead of Iceman, she's Ice Woman. Gross. And she can't do the thing where she, like, freezes the air in front of her and then surfboards on the ice at to fly. See, I don't if, think that, if that happened, I'd probably watch that movie. If, if she had Iceman powers. Yeah. Uh, goodbye, fought, you stupid chode. And fought the Silver Surfer and Galactus. Basically, oh, if shit. Frozen wasn't the movie it is, I'd watch it. <laughs> so, so basically, if Frozen had nothing to do with Frozen, you'd, you'd yeah, watch I'd, Frozen. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty great. Great. <laughs> <laughs> she killed Talon. Uh, that's good. I don't even care that I died. I just, I, I wanted stuff to happen. Wow, they got fucked up, bot! You kidding me? They're still at the first tower? Yep. Wow. I don't know what happened. Yeah, me neither. Fucking ADC talent happened. But yeah, fucking... Uh, basically... Uh... I think her name is Ezla, or something? Yeah. Yeah, if she if she could like skate around like the the Iceman, that would have been a vastly different movie, I would assume. That's the that's the one thing I like. Even even though I didn't like him from his second son a whole lot, at least he always attempted to do cool shit with his powers every time. I hate it when someone has powers and they go, "Oh, I don't know what to fucking do with this." Like <laughs> the, every fucking time. I I think the most frustrating thing about that game to me. Uh, is just that you have to keep mashing circle. Like, like, locomotion is Depends important. on the power. You can hold it like a sprint button. Uh, on, the on, on the neon, yes. I don't know, it, it's kind of like, and this is, this is like the one thing that kind of bothers me about, like, uh, Legend of Zelda as well, and like, a lot of games like this, is if you can, if you have like a roll, or like a jump, or something, or like Castlevania Symphony of the Night, where you have like that backwards moonwalk thing that's yeah. faster than your sprint speed. You're just gonna do that everywhere. And Infamous Second Son was especially bad for that, because at least Zelda, you just mash the button and it's whatever. But Infamous yeah. Second Son, you have to have the timing too. So it's just, I don't know. I, I find that really just kind of, oh, uh, well, I'm goodbye. Do you want to die? Because you're going to die. See, I think the difference is, um... I actually like that they had at least better move mechanics, because I thought the infamous move mechanics were fine, but nothing to really write home about. It's like, in a day and age where parkour reigns supreme in terms of, like, overall movement mechanics on everything, whether it be a shooter or an adventure game or anything like that, like they were able to do something that I felt I felt like new 
and not necessarily or not necessarily fresh or, or I, I guess not new, but at least it it just felt good for the time being. Yeah, I mean, it I, I wore my patience after a while, especially with the video power, considering the video power is technically the best to get everywhere. Yeah, yeah, and then it you just have to keep going, you have to keep mashing it every fucking time. Yeah, it's yeah. really obnoxious. Come on, fight me. No, you can beat me. Totally. Totally. You you got me. Oh no. Hey Nar. Fuck off. Hey Yasuo. Fuck off. Great. Love it. Win it. <laughs> Love it, win it, do it. Love it, win it, do it. Anyway, uh yeah, but no, I the one thing I, I think that the original Infamous games had, especially the second one, because the placement was much better. But the, the original Infamous has had, uh, they had the power lines that you yeah. could get on. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you, it, it was just, you pressed forward and you fucking, you moved at a consistent speed super fast. And I get that if they, if they just let you, like, fly everywhere, it would be kind of fucking boring. Um. Well, I mean. No, I, 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 no. When you I, level up the good side of the power, that, you technically can do that in Infamous too. Because the um, the the icicle jump into the float, like the upgraded float, you basically fly fucking everywhere. Do you? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how how deep you played into the. Well, good you don't you don't path. do it faster than you do on the power lines. Oh hell no, hell no, and you definitely don't do it as fast as you would in uh, Infamous Second Son. Like you're you're still moving at an obscene rate of speed in Infamous. Oh my god, that'd have been fucking sick if she killed all of them. Hopefully we Yeah, there there's there's back. a difference though between like a consistent fast speed like something like the prototype sprint. Yeah. And and the infamous mash the button over and over again like start and stop, start and stop. Even if you even if you do one and it, it's exactly as fast as the other like there's definitely one that's like just more appealing to look at. Yeah. And it, it's it, it's a small problem that pretty much becomes a bigger problem the more you play of that game. And I did two mm -hmm. playthroughs of it. So. I tried doing the evil playthrough. I just didn't have fun. You'd, have it, you'd, there's a lot of, like, a, like the infamous Second Son, I mean. Um, yeah. Like, I didn't have any... I beat the game in one day, and I was like, that was cool, I guess. And then when I sold that the fucking paper power wasn't a paper power at all, it was just a fucking, like, you get, you unlock fucking clothes. I was like, yeah, I think I don't want to play this game. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I didn't do the paper... I did a little bit of the paper trail thing, and I thought it was kind of a cool concept, but I never went back to it. I did, like, yeah. maybe one or two missions. Yeah, it was, uh, really silly. Yeah. What's up, Talon? I don't See, know what uh, they thought was gonna happen. Yeah, no, I... I'm... I'm unkillable now, because I stacked armor. So, they're focusing me. Like even even little Nar, they all focus me, and I I'm at over half health. So that was yeah, really dumb of up. them. Is it over yet? Ah, uh, you could make it over yet, unless your team isn't like surrendering. And when politi politician Brom ults, he shouts, "Nano machine, son!" God <laughs> damn it! Did you play Rising? Yes, I actually really liked that game. It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Cool. That was. I, I know everyone says that platinum games are like super great, uh, but I didn't I didn't play Bayonetta too much. I played the demo of Bayonetta and I thought it was okay, but I didn't want to buy it. And I uh, I I played Mad World, uh, and I Mad World's a hard game to like. Didn't yeah I didn't really. I like it more for its aesthetic. And I, it's it's atmosphere more so than I do with the gameplay. The gameplay is very repetitive. I thought the the announcers were the high point of it, and then once they started like repeating everything, I I kind of lost interest in it. Yeah. Um. Well, I mean, and, if you're staying in an area long did, enough. I did like everything. Vanquish. I never. I didn't. I didn't make it through Vanquish, but I I loved Vanquish just for the boss fights. Uh, Vanquish to me was one of the but, like I I but tell yeah, people all the time. I I think I think Rising was the uh, was the first game that that was a platinum game that I actually played like start to finish and I I liked it yeah <clears throat> yeah like you're not it's not like you're 
I don't know. I, actually, now that I think about it, you're kind of hit huge in the character action games because God of War, the, un- the original Devil May Cry, stuff like that. Yeah. Apparently, there's rumors that when TGS fucking drops, which is, I think, the 18th or the 19th, that um, Capcom's going to come out and say, yo, we made enough money to make DMC5, so... And you, you think that they'd go 5 instead of making a, making a sequel to the... Well, there's already been talks like Ninja, like Ninja Theory has already come out and said, that, "Hey, we we're, we're not working on DMC anymore. We're doing Hellblade. We're working on Disney Infinity of all fucking things, and we're doing a bunch of other projects." Yeah, they people came out. I think one of the best fucking things I heard was uh. Wait, wait, wait! Oh, Ninja Theory, Ninja Gaiden. Hold on, let me let me do this because I got a donation to do this. Put me back in the water. Also, uh, Amagama, uh, said to, uh, check your donations and, uh, ask if you got, uh, the, ask if you got the profanity filter to turn off successfully in stream tips. Yeah, I, I don't know of a way to turn the profanity filter off in stream tips, otherwise it would be off. Yeah. You wanna go bot? Yeah, let's go bot. What do you want to do, uh, ADC? All yeah, right. yeah. Of course, baby. Welcome to the League of oh, Dream Team? Dream team. Dream team. Let's, let's go. Let's sit on a let's sit on a cloud and and stroke each other's hearts. Let's do it. I'm good. Pool. I wish fucking Draven had a pool party skin. It'd be perfect. <laughs> uh yeah. Uh, uh Amagam gave me a dollar. Thank you. Yes, I am. It's still decent. Not as good as the first arc. Still, uh, what are you talking it. about? Because you just said yes, I am. Nobody else. Uh, he knows what I'm talking about. Uh, Amagam is the one who donated it. Uh, he asked me if I was still keeping up with Sword Art, which oh, yeah. I am, really hesitantly. But every episode is getting better and better. The development is actually okay. Is that the one that's on Netflix? <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't watch the dub version if you really want to go and watch it. I, I don't suggest it. Out. It's very animu. It's super animu, and I know you're not into that. Yeah, I probably wouldn't like it if it's super animu. Um, but the one thing that like I that happened with that series was that it, the first half started off pretty good. It had decent character development, and it, it, it kind of strayed away from a lot of uh, anime-centric uh, cliches, I guess you can call it. It still had them in spades in some instances, like with some character archetypes but it really just felt like uh i don't know it was different it felt like it had a lot of the like emotional development that dot hack tried to have but did so that wasn't so in a, in a way that wasn't like overbearing like dot hack sign i think is the one i everyone always talks about like the anime that's just nothing ever fucking happens ever is that, is that the one that talking. comes like packaged with the uh games no it's liminality dot hack sign is the um the weird one that uh, it just it takes place before the games, and it's supposed to lead up to the games. Yeah, I watched. Uh, I watched one that that was. Yeah, it was. It, I watched maybe two episodes of it or three episodes in it, and nothing fucking happened. Nothing happens at all, and like the the, the reason why people like it so much is because it has the. The first, I guess you can say it, like the, the big reveal at the end of the show, and fuck you if you care about spoilers, it's, it's a, like a 10-year-old show, no one cares. Uh, I'm talking to the stream. It, the big reveal is that the, the main character, who's a guy, is actually played by a girl, and it was a, like the, the sort of weird lesbian relationship, and people said that's progressive for Japan, which they're kind of right, because Japan thinks homosexuals are hilarious. Like, they don't fucking, did you know that? They don't hate gay people they just think they're the the funniest fucking thing they go oh man so, look at you sucking dicks that's so, like, so weird so like me yes yes <laughs> actually like they just come straight out and they're just like hey, gay people are okay i guess they're just you know and it's not normal to suck dicks if you have a dick it's it's just funny to us and I'm like that's a little i mean i can't really be angry at that they're not they're not like telling them they can't do it they're just saying no we just you know it's fucking weird. It, like, if you look at any anime with a gay person, they're almost always a huge stereotype. Every fucking time. Every fucking time. What about, uh... Are you counting anime e video games? Mmm... Maybe. Uh, I'm not so sure, because that, like... Most anime is exclusively made in Japan, and, like, 
ja Japanese based teams, whereas like Japanese game studios almost always have uh, a good mix of people from Europe, America, and Japan. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Uh, so, so like sensibilities well, are a little bit more. While we're talking about animes based on video games, where nothing fucking happens. There's also a Devil May Cry no, anime. No, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to fucking talk about it. That was the <laughs> worst fucking thing. That should have been the best fucking thing. Okay. How do you take a fucking concept that is as easy as Dante goes into a room, kills demon, does cool thing, walks out of room, and then turn it into whatever the fuck that was? You put like, a little girl in it. You put a little girl in it. No, you won't. You know what you do? You make it like DMC two, because God was that fucking game awful. Yeah. That was it actually takes... the first one I played, but I played it in like fifth grade, so I thought it was it was the shit. But the third one was way fucking better. Third one still holds up to this day. Like yeah. even the even though the mechanics are old, like I still load up the HD collection and I go, how can how hard can I triple S this fucking level? Like the first level, like if you just turn on Dante must die mode and then just fucking jam out on the on Nevin. And just realize that you can uh, AOE people and yeah. crowd control them with Nevin the entire time. Nevin, like, why Nevin, would I ever use any other weapon? Nevin is the best fucking weapon in anything ever. And if you... I thought it sucked. And then I fucking learned how to play with it. It's one of those weapons where you're just like... Oh no, I just, I just mean in concept and practice. Oh yeah. It's like a hot vampire chick that's like put her soul into this badass like scythe like V guitar that fucking shoots lightning and bats out of it. Like, how do you... That, that do, came out of some fucking Japanese guy's Trapper Keeper from fifth grade. We know I know, that. and <laughs> it's awesome! It's so it's good! It's so awesome! It's so good, and I thought, like, for the longest time I didn't use it, because I thought it sucked, and then you learn how to use the weapon. It's the best fucking weapon in the Yeah, one, once it's you learn... It's so good. Do you use Swordmaster with it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's... that's the ticket. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. Did you, you know, did you know that game actually has multiplayer? The Yeah, it has the weirdest form of multiplayer. It has the, uh, where you play doppelganger. Yeah, and then you press and select take, and the second yeah. controller controls the doppelganger. There's like cool. There's like that cheat that gives you all the skins and there's one of, there's one where it's like, uh, it gives him unlimited devil trigger so you can just play uh, the whole game. You can play the whole game multiplayer. Oh, that's pretty fantastic, actually. Yeah, like but you obviously you're. Any weapon with switch, it. Like, or is it just can control the weapon he doppelganger with? Uh, I don't remember. I it was such a long time ago when I did it. I don't think it can like weapon switch, but I think you can like you can like undoppelganger and doppelganger again to switch weapons. I didn't really. I'm waiting. I did see. it like once, so I I don't know. Yeah, I'm waiting to see how well Bayonetta two does it. Because Bayonetta 2's actually got a co-op uh, multiplayer mode. Well, the thing about the Wii U is uh, you can use that that second uh, tablet thing as a is a like split screen. Like they're have doing. You ever, have you actually touched the Wii U at all? Yeah. Like at all? I, I don't own one, but I've I've yeah I've tried. In it. retrospect, out of a lot of things, like after like I bought one and I'm so oh, you, you own it. one? Yeah, I own one. I actually like it a lot. I actually like it a lot. It is basically the GameCube that we wanted. From the Wii? Yeah, I've, I've played it a couple of times at my friend's house. Like, I played Mario Kart, and it seemed like a good, like, uh, and, and the Mario, uh, the Mario game, including the green.